Now we have cracked the sampass.txt file. The next file we have is the shadow file which we procured from Linux. So right now we have already cracked a file and we need to delete the john.port file to perform the next cracking. So first uh, right now I am inside uh, the run folder of John so that's why I'm just deleting the john.port file would be inside this so I'm just deleting the john.port file and now I am trying to crack the next file which is uh, instead of sampass I'm giving shadow It's my bad. I have to I have to first uh, crack it. Uh, it's John. Uh, so I accidentally gave it John show. So this so I'm trying to crack it. So uh, I have perform this task sometime before and it goes to an indefinite way because uh, John the Ripper is unable to crack all the passwords because the file has seven entries and it's able to crack only five you see it here one two three four five it's able to do only five records because the last two it's unable to if I'm not wrong the last two it's unable to crack so let's just break the process by entering control C and let's show uh, hold on for a second it's John show I'm just trying to show the shadow file so if you see it it gives four passwords cracked it's my bad the four password hashes were cracked three is three are left so this is because uh, John the Ripper is unable to crack the three passwords. This could be of either of the reasons like the passwords are of uh, good like good quality like it follows a particular uh, complexity or else uh, we need to update the database or word list or dictionary of the John the Ripper or even it might take more time for John the Ripper to crack these passwords. It could be any of these reasons. So um, that's it for uh, shadow.txt. Thank you.